Coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Center Athletics Force, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of MFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to settle for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Nashville Lichens take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tank's hotel party the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your... The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Brain rage. How do you like your brains? It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception. And he's off to the races. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up with a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he just presses. Now the offense is getting kills. 
This is really a violent game, guys. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Oh, what a bone-crushing hit. You can 86 this guy, Bricks. Uh, I never learned how to count that high. It's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And that's another turnover for the defense. That was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. I will hell and I'll sell him. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that pass is good for about five yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a hump. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it.
And it's first and ten. Chains, that's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. down and eight. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and we touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching his cheeks though. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. At the end of the first quarter, this one looks like a route. Someone give me a beer. Second down in more than the QB would like. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, man, he really... Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> First and ten. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down and long. would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. And that'll bring up third and one. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just 
got crushed. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and seven. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what... Oh, with the punishing hit. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. First down and six. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and three. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down in a mile. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hit off. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect them not to. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down and one. And the quarterback throws a murder ball. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And then puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown that good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. I don't think we can have it. And it's first and ten. And they're taking what 
the deep. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second down and six. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense, there's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Second down and a lot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The 30. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. an outline on the ground like he was trying to Whoa, mama just call him cap and crunch another one bites the dust and it's first and ten and there's another pick man this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in oh now the offense is getting kills ah uh, this is a Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? If there were any functioning brain cells before that, oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Second down and ten. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. 
talking to you. Don't the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. The quarterback stuck back, and that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the coast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You can't keep a good mutant down! And it's first and ten. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what's up. Well, that's a real buzzkill. He broke free and has open field in front of him. First and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. People like it. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten.
Second and three. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down and seven. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of brown mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that's another turnover for the defense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 10! Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! point attempt it's good the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. 
thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions. Than oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Nova. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. <laughs> And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> first down and seven. Men before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned. This guy's a brick should have. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. Yeah, I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> first down and seven.
second down in a lot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel and be brought into a dead stop, literally. Oh, man. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. And it's first and ten. Sacks. Has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. Plays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. And that'll bring up third down and seven. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roy Rage brings out the worst in anyone. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Third down and, well, good luck. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback. Oh, what the brutal hit. 
Hey man, the team's going to hit him now. They go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. The QB launches a rock. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Griff, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know. What? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. You see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Ah, uh, don't worry, that's coming. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw it. He can go all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a... Fr oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on. Man, what a hit that was. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about?
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's this. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays... And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> First down and five. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down. Oh, my God. Prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, Saban Fritz's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Oh, man! His neck front up with the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. like your Aunt Bertha. The offense is out of receivers. Yeah, it's a good thing their defense is on the field or they'd have to forfeit. Yeah, lucky schmucks. I used to carry a rabbit's foot for good luck. Then a monkey's paw. Now it's a, an orc's toe. And it's first and ten. <laughs> His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking score the 20 he's running out of gas now it's a touchdown and viewers at home don't worry he doesn't have fleas he's just not a very good dancer i am fleas and i can't dance that good i would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth bricks <laughs> well this should be an easy chip shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> were devoured by the opposition today and lose this game by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion.
Christian. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.